Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at chapter 11 of the Mythical Man Month, which is called Plan to Throw One Away, and starts with a lovely quote, like most of the chapters do. And this one says, There is nothing in this world constant but inconstancy. The first concept introduced in this chapter is something called a pilot point, which is part of a chemical engineer's process of releasing new operations into the field. For example, if you need to implement a desalination solution, it'll get invented in a lab for small volumes and then a pilot plant, which is big, but not so huge that it would service a town. And then after receiving learnings from the pilot plant, the refined version will be built to service the town. The same is true for software projects. When you build a program for the first time, you won't have the benefit of hindsight of how users will interact with it or what difficulties they'll encounter. And so the author's assertion is that you'll essentially build a product, get some experience it, get some experience with it, either personally or through internal or external users. And then ultimately, once you synthesize the feedback, you'll have built an entirely new product. It's worth being aware that this will happen and note that it isn't really an option, it's inevitable. The decision that you need to make is whether or not to show version one to your customers or to merely subject your teammates to it. The upside of giving external users access to V1 is that you'll have bought some time. Your product is giving you revenue and so the company can go on. The downside is that your customers are likely to have a diminished user experience. They're likely to surface their concerns to you, which is helpful, but at the same time distracting in terms of prioritization for the iteration process. If you'd like to make peace with the concept that a lot of a software will be discarded, it helped to realize that the programmer ultimately delivers customer satisfaction rather than a tangible product. Thus, it wouldn't be a hit to one's ego to write something and then see it iterated out of existence in some amount of time. The constant iteration is a side effect of software being able to be continually changed Unlike physical products, which have a definite creation process that ends once the assembly is complete and is in the hands of a customer. So with the inevitability of change in mind, the question arises of how do we build with that inevitability in mind? The ways are somewhat obvious, but worth touching on at a high level, which are to write modularized code that has self-explanatory naming with small logical public interfaces, and so on. It's also important to make code as generalized as possible, but not more than is possible so that it can be adopted for future use. In a similar vein, organizations change too. These entail things in tactical everyday life, such as plans and schedules, but also in strategic and more global ways as well such as the composition of projects and products that a team is building. It behooves the high-performing team to prepare for this kind of project flow over time by, for example, shifting the roles of individuals in the team so that no one gets too pigeonholed into one kind of task. This practice, in the long run, ensures that as a project composition changes, each team member is sufficiently experienced in various domains to be immediately useful. So to make this less abstract, make a, imagine a web development team which builds a website. It would happen naturally that some people gravitate towards styling projects, others to writing components that make API calls, and others still to the refinement of the build and deployment systems. This is well and good, but a day may come when a large amount of work is needed in one domain. And if only one of the team members is experienced with the API calls side, it'll take the others more time to ramp up than if they had been doing it all along. The last section of the chapter is called One Step Forward and One Step Back, and essentially talks about the long run of a program system. Eventually, you have a product that is released to happy users, and your team is maintaining it as well. Theoretically, the program should be able to run forever, but in reality, user needs change programming language and other package versions advance, and thus eventually the beautiful system falls into a decay, which can eventually only be fixed by starting over. In my own experience, I've seen websites 
that are many years old and despite being built and maintained by thoughtful and vigilant developers are ultimately too entangled within itself to be workable and development speed drops infinitely close to zero. So even in the best case scenario, the words of the author ring true with this chapter's title, plan one to throw away. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it thought provoking and I'll see you all in the next one.